Canada's open immigration policies are a significant source of advantage as it relates not only to social progress, but also to the powerful and inclusive economic growth ahead. As highlighted in a recent op-ed in the Globe and Mail by Chris Albinson, the incoming CEO of Communitech, Canada has a distinct advantage when it comes to creating the next wave of unicorns, private companies worth a billion dollars or more. Canada now has six times more skilled immigrants as a percentage of the population than the US. This is a significant stat when you consider that half of America's tech unicorn founders were newcomers to the US. I'm Claudia Rojas, CEO of the National Angel Capital Organization, NACO. Today, I will be talking about the work that we do at NACO to mobilize investment into companies and the role of Canada's startup visa program and newcomer entrepreneurs in driving our country's economic growth. Thank you everyone for being here and thank you to Miriam and Latam Startups for hosting this spectacular conference. I've been attending the Latam Startups conference for many years now and each time it gets better and better. I've had great conversations in the past with Miriam around the important work that Latam Startups is doing in supporting early stage companies and helping them to scale not only in Canada, but globally. And it's through organizations like Latam Startups that we as a country attract world-class entrepreneurs to Canada to drive our economic growth. For those of you that don't know, NACO is the exclusive partner to the Government of Canada in administering the Startup Visa program as it relates to incubators and angel groups. And we administer the program under the direction of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. At NACO, we're privileged to support the inspiring work that Latam Startups does including their activities as a startup visa designated entity. Designated entities like Latam Startups contribute to the success of the startup visa program by supporting newcomer entrepreneurs as they establish and scale their businesses in Canada. To kick things off, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. First off, although I'm delivering this discussion in English, Soy de origen español y mis padres son venezolanos. Nací en Canadá y la presentación de hoy será en inglés. Pero entiendo el idioma y les invito a que se conecten conmigo en su idioma de preferencia. I come from a South American background and I understand how hard it is for newcomers from Latin America and around the world to move their lives and their livelihoods to Canada. In terms of my professional background, I received my law degree and Master's of Business Administration from the University of Western Ontario and Ivy Business School in London, Ontario. I started my career as a lawyer in training at Denton's, which is a large global law firm that many of you will know, and then moved into private equity and venture capital for about 10 years, investing in founder-run companies that grew to become some of the largest companies in the world. Apple, Facebook, Netflix, and Tesla before they became the popular companies of today. I'm the founder of the Canadian Dream Initiative. This is a movement that is focused on transforming Canada into the world's leading innovation economy. And my role in that organization was a significant catalyst for my joining NACO. So what is NACO? The National Angel Capital Organization was formed about 20 years ago. Informally in 1998, and then formally incorporated in 2002. It has grown since then to include 4,000 angel investors across Canada. We have more than 40 regional angel groups and 45 of Canada's most prominent incubators and accelerators. All are part of our membership, some of which you may know, such as Latam Startups, Platform Calgary, Volta in Halifax, Launch Academy in Vancouver, Communitech in Kitchener-Waterloo, Elspark in Ottawa, and many others, including the Mars Discovery District in Toronto, where I'm speaking to you from today, and many, many other exceptional organizations. Our members represent the pillars of Canada's innovation ecosystem. They are investors, mentors, repeat founders, leaders of incubators and accelerators, and champions of entrepreneurs 
entrepreneurs that are building their companies here in Canada. As mentioned, we are privileged to be the trusted partner, a service provider to the Government of Canada for the Startup Visa Program. What I love about NACO is that it has deep relationships across the globe and around the country, and it keeps picking up momentum. Over the last 10 years alone, our members have invested more than a billion dollars into more than 1,500 companies across all kinds of different industries. This is critical when we think about economic growth. The funding and mentorship that angel investors bring are powerful resources to help entrepreneurs scale their companies into the job creation engines of the future. And of course, we recognize that newcomers and newcomer entrepreneurs are an important part of our economy. Many well-known and successful companies were founded here in Canada, including Shopify, based in Ottawa, Slack in Vancouver, and Skip the Dishes in Winnipeg, Enthusiast Gaming in Toronto, Solium in Calgary, now Shareworks by Morgan Stanley, and Verifin, a recent success story with more than $2.75 billion in value that was founded, built, and scaled in St. John's, Newfoundland, and Labrador. And then we have Apply Board, which we're very proud to be associated with, a startup visa company, and according to a recent article in Forbes, now valued at over a billion dollars. The startup visa program attracts the world's top entrepreneurial talent to establish their innovative companies in Canada. Since the launch of Canada's startup visa program in 2013, Newcomer entrepreneurs representing about 200 startups have become permanent residents and launched their businesses here. These applicants come from a diverse range of countries and a wide range of industries, including technology, consumer products, finance, energy, clean tech, real estate, tourism, healthcare, and many, many other industries. So what is the Startup Visa Program? And what does the program involve? Canada's Startup Visa program provides up to five of the founders and core senior team members and their families with a fast track to permanent residency. To be eligible for the Startup Visa program, among other things, you must have a qualifying business and get a letter of support from a designated organization, such as LATAM Startups. An example of a huge success story is Apply Board. The company was founded in 2015 by Iranian brothers Martin, Meti, and Masi Basiri. They came from Iran and they built a company that simplifies the study abroad search, application and acceptance processes by connecting international students and bringing them together with recruitment partners and academic institutions on a single platform. Hence the name Apply Board. The way that they use the Start a Visa program is with the support of their designated entity, the Accelerator Center in Waterloo. And with that support, they established their operations in Canada and have since grown to 900 employees, 27 investors, gained significant revenue, and in 2019, they were named by Deloitte as one of Canada's fastest growing companies. And as mentioned earlier, they were recently named by Forbes as having an estimated value of 1.4 billion based on their capital raise of 55 million in a Series C extension and having raised a total of 130 million up to that point. A really, really great success story. What I love about the Forbes article is that it speaks to Canada's proximity to the massive destination market of the United States and how we're very much a global gateway for companies to launch from whether it's into the United States or to other extraordinary destination markets around the globe. The Startup Visa program has significant potential to contribute to Canada's economic growth. Our country is an extraordinary place to build your business, as many of you know. We have well-developed ecosystems that are nationally connected. And what this means is that no matter where you settle in Canada, you can gain access to, the, to resources in other parts of the country to fund, grow, and scale your business. So wherever you choose to settle your company, you will have access to a nationally connected ecosystem. Technology and innovation, as many of you know, will be a significant driver of economic growth going into the future. And Canada, as are many countries around the world, 
Canada is rethinking its economic strategy. And there is an increasing recognition that innovation will play a leading role in our economic recovery. To paint a picture of the future, in an, an Innovation Economy Council report, tech employment continued to grow even during the first and second waves of the, of the COVID-19 pandemic. Nearly 100,000 more STEM jobs were created since February 2020. This resilience is attributed to Canada's open immigration system, which welcomes skilled foreigners and entrepreneurs on an expedited basis. As mentioned earlier, newcomer entrepreneurs play an important role in the Canadian economy, and Canada is one of the most pluralistic and diverse societies in the world. For example, just last year, newcomers in Ontario made up 34% of the working age population. At a national level, there are more than 600,000 self-employed newcomers across the country, and newcomers account for 33% of all business owners with paid staff. Research from 2018 indicates that newcomer entrepreneurs are more likely to start businesses and create jobs than their Canadian-born counterparts. Foreign startups are coming here, tapping into talent with valuable skills in a wide range of areas, and this is boosting Canada's economic prospects and bringing new energy to the Canadian economy. Recognizing the role that newcomers play in bolstering the Canadian economy, in October 2020, the Government of Canada announced a plan to support economic recovery through increased immigration. As reported in the well-known global publication The Economist, while other countries are pulling back on their immigration, Canada is leaning in and plans to welcome 1.2 million newcomers between now and 2023. This is equivalent to 3% of the Canadian population. As a result, Canada will be even more welcoming to newcomers as we move into the future, particularly as the global health pandemic subsides and travel restrictions ease. In closing, I can't say enough great things about Canada and our startup visa program. We know that newcomer entrepreneurs contribute to the fabric of our society in an exceptional way. I welcome you to reach out to NACO to LATAM Startups, and to consider Canada's Startup Visa Program. I'm confident that you will find that Canada is an exceptional place to build your company. I invite you to learn more about NACO's work at builtbyangels.com, and feel free to reach out on LinkedIn, or you can email me at claudio at nacocanada.com. Thank you, Miriam, and thank you to the LATAM Startups team for inviting me to speak today. Congratulations on an extraordinary conference so far, and gracias a todos.